In this video, I'm going to create an R glass or more commonly called a sand timer chart in Excel. This chart can be used to represent the time lapse during any project or for depicting the fund utilization status of your budget. But before creating, let's quickly have a look at the final output. So this is the chart that we're going to create. Now this chart tells us how much time has lapsed since the start of any project and how much time is left. So I'm working on project alpha and the total days allocated to complete this project is 20. The project started on 29 September, which is given in cell B4. And cell B5 contains the current date. Assuming this is the first day of the project, these two cells will contain the same date. Now, let us see how the chart responds one day at a time. So keep focusing on cell B5 and the chart to visualize the effect. Now this chart is created by using two things. One is a 2D stacked column chart which is there in Excel and the other one, this one is a shape which is created with the help of PowerPoint. And when we superimpose this shape onto the column chart, we get our final effect. So watch this video till the end because you're going to learn not just Excel but a very interesting and useful aspect of PowerPoint which is called merging shapes. So first we'll create the shape in PowerPoint and then we'll move to Excel to create the chart. Now I've opened my PowerPoint slide and this is where I'm going to create the shape that we just saw. Now this shape is not present by default in Excel and we're going to create this shape by combining several shapes into one. So let's quickly insert few shapes. First let me insert an oval. And next I'm going to insert an oval again, but this time I'll draw it in an elliptical manner. Now I'm going to subtract the ellipse from the oval. And to do that, you need something called merge shapes. This is a command which is present in PowerPoint, but not available by default in the top ribbon. So you need to go to Excel options by clicking on file, then going to options, and in the customize ribbon, choose all commands and then search for merge shapes. So this is here and now we need to include this command in our ribbon. Let's have a look at the right side and here we can decide where to put this command. I'm going to put the command in the draw menu item. So I'll explain the draw menu and then inside the menu, we need to create a new group. And then when you click on add, then the merge shapes will enter this newly created group. Click on OK and let's check the draw tab now. Right, so you have the merge ships command here. So now select the oval and then the ellipse and then click on merge shapes and choose subtract. So we're able to complete the first step of our shape creation. Let me copy this image. I'm going to use the copied image later on. Right now focus on this one. And now let's include another shape, this time a square. Change the shape fill of square to white. Send the square to back. Select both the shapes and then go to shape format. Click on align. Choose align center. Then again click on align and this time choose align bottom. Now choose the outer square and remove the outline. Select both the shapes. Now we're going to use merge shapes. So go to draw tab and on merge shapes click on subtract again. As soon as you click on subtract, you observe, it appears that everything has vanished. But in reality, we have created a shape and we're not able to see it because the background is white in color. So let's change the background to some other color. And this is what we have created right now. Now one thing to note here is, when you subtract any shape from any other shape, then the inside shape's outlines get disappeared. And to bring back the outlines, we need to use a copied version of the inside shape. So let's bring it here. To better align, select everything and go to shape format, align center and align bottom. For the copied shape, let's change the shape fill as no fill and the outline as gray color. And now let's insert another shape.
select everything group all the shapes let's copy this entire shape now and paste it here so this will serve as the top portion of the arc glass and this will serve as the bottom but we need to flip it so go to rotate and flip vertical now let's align these two parts with each other let's combine all the shapes together and now we have created the shape that we were looking for and now let's come to the second part of this video I'm working on a project which is titled project alpha and this project was allocated 20 days to complete if you have a look at cell b6 this contains a formula which is called today so this formula updates itself every time when you close or open your file so if you open your file after one day then the date here will be mentioned as 30th September 2022 and now let's plot the information over a column chart and we'll convert that column chart into an R glass after that so what I enter in these cells is the information that I'm going to use to plot the chart row 12 and 13 will form the bottom portion of my chart and row 14 and 15 will form the top portion of my chart Select these cells and then go to insert charts and select a 2D stacked column chart. Now click on switch row oblique column. Now we have plotted four series into this chart but we are able to see two because two values are zero. For a moment let's remove the today formula and let's type the next date which is 30th September. And now you see all the four series have appeared. Click on the second series. Go to format and take the shape fill as no fill. Repeat the same for the fourth series. And now let's bring back the formula. Let's also remove the chart elements that we do not need. So it's the time now to bring the shape that we created in PowerPoint onto this Excel file. Copy this picture. And apply paste special as picture to this excel file we need to crop this image so now we are going to superimpose this shape onto this chart we have to make sure that the height of the top portion of the shape and the height of the gray series should be same. So you need to make certain adjustments manually here to fit the shape exactly over the chart. So now you see what happens when the days progress. So let's manually type 1 here. Let's type 2 here. Keep increasing the values and you see it appears that the contents of the top half are being pushed on to the bottom half. It looks good but it does not look like a sand timer. So let's apply some sand effect to this chart. I've copied this sand image from internet. You can also do the same and now copy this shape. Let's remove the shape for now. Click on the gray series. Go to format data point and inside fill click on picture and then click on clipboard repeat the same for the blue series now let's delete the sand image and bring back this shape over the chart so now it looks much more like a sand timer let's increase the dates further Let's bring back the formula in cell B7, which we manually changed. The interesting thing about this chart is because we used today function in cell B6, so this cell content will change every day. And every day when you open this Excel file, you will find an updated R glass or sign timer chart here.
Now this chart is complete, but if you want to include another effect, we can show the sand dropping from the top half to the bottom half. You can also do that. Let's bring back our sand image. Crop this image to a thin line. Now let's include a shape, a rectangular shape. Take the shape fill as white and shape outline as no outline. Send this shape to the back and then merge these two shapes together. Now copy this and then go to home, find and select, go to selection pane and hide everything apart from the chart. Select the second series in the chart. Go to format data series, fill, choose picture, apply clipboard and there you have the line. Let's unhide everything. Let's see the effect again. Now as I said earlier, you can use this chart to represent the project progress or otherwise you can even use this chart to represent other things also like the utilization of the budget with respect to the funds allocated and several other things. I hope you have liked this video. For more such videos, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.